So I got another comparison here. I was showing you guys this uh, last Swiss buck that didn't have scale tools, and I was telling you about this knife, which I was gonna pick up, or I had just bought off eBay. And this is a uh, another Swiss buck, technically called a globe trotter, and you could see it has scale tools, so it has the the toothpick and the the tweezers. So, you know, I didn't know that there were Swiss Bucks with scale tools, but apparently there were. Uh, as far as the tools, you know, it's pretty standard. It has the the uh, nail cleaner or whatever, nail file. It has, obviously, being a Swiss Buck, uh, the clip point blade. Let's make sure this is focused. And then it has... Oops, Cut myself there, or caught myself there. It has the, you know, kind of opener layer. And, yeah, look at that. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. That's why they call it the danger zone. It's a sharp blade. Um, just, you know, the standard opener layer. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty consistent tool. What's, what's interesting is I had, uh, I picked up this. It's a... A Wanger Highlander. Let me see if you can see that. This was kind of like an impulse where I saw the the seller was uh, had listed this as brand new, and he had a pretty cheap price. It was a fourteen fourteen ninety nine, I believe, and you know seemed like a good deal. And for supposedly brand new in box, though I was a little questioning it got it and you know i think i think it's new i mean it's definitely been handled like in an open box the the scales have you know quite a bit of scratches as you could see here all right that's a lesson for you little boys and girls at home be careful with knives that uh that blade did get me it's funny that they call it the danger zone but obviously it's just this weird angle uh for the video but yeah I had to go uh, wrap up my finger it was bleeding pretty good <clears throat> that clip point blade is uh, definitely factory sharp uh, so anyway what I was getting at is you know I was I had gotten this Swiss buck because I thought it was interesting that it had the scale tools when I thought the other Swiss buck I have and I thought just in general that they didn't have scale tools I ended up picking this up and then because it was mainly because it was a deal for, for you know a somewhat uh, you know, I know, well, supposedly new, like I said, it's definitely been opened, but the tools don't really show anywhere. Uh, same tool set generally, the only difference being, actually, no, that's right, they even the same there. Uh, so they have all the exact same tools, except this one doesn't have scale tools, which I think is weird, because I was under the impression this generation of Vanger had scale tools in these, in their, in their scale. And I was just showing you guys in the other video, uh, the Vanger I had there, you know, did have them. And, you know, there's definitely enough space, the thickness of the scale, so they just chose not to do it. It's kind of weird. This is, a, again, similar generation. This didn't have a, I don't know if that was a date on the stick or the other one, but this box is very similar to the, the Traveler video, where I was comparing a Traveler against a Swiss Buck. Uh, but again, same tools mainly being, I'm not gonna cut myself, this time but this blade isn't the standard vanger blade this is a serrated so this is called a serrated highlander or highlander serrated uh, otherwise it's the same tools so same opener layer same inward facing uh, nail file whatever uh, nail cleaning tool nail file with a little pick and you know opener layer etc same all all rather on the back And uh, obviously they're both Phillips, which is, you know, I've mentioned, I think in my other video, I, I'm not a wine drinker, so don't really care for the corkscrew tool. Doesn't seem very useful for me. And I much prefer Phillips. Phillips is obviously very useful. Most screws in North America 
on anything. Our Phillips and this, I forget if this say, say it's the number two size, whatever this size Phillips is pretty handy because it can do somewhat smaller screws, but also do a bigger screw. You know, you can't go too much torque on it, but uh, it's pretty functional. So otherwise the same tool set. I do obviously enjoy the clip point blades, but uh, this is kind of an interesting one. I don't, there's two things I didn't have with this Vanger in my collection. I didn't have uh, any Vanger with a serrated, and I guess this is unique because they have also uh, a full serrated. I've seen some Vangers, 85 millimeter Vangers that have a serrations to the end, and they kind of look different than this. I think they're all the same type of serration versus the this kind of two different pattern thing you see a lot. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's this style where it's kind of flat. On the, let me see if I can get this angle in the light. The back is totally flat. Sort of like some of the Victorinox, I think, 111 millimeter serrated edges. But then it has a little bit, like it's a combo, where it has the front, you know, the last little bit, the last inch of the blade is uh, kind of a flat blade. It's kind of weird, actually, too, because you look at the serrations, the way they cut it out, it makes the blade kind of look rather skinny down here. But it's a, you know, it's a small 85 millimeter knife anyway. But uh, I didn't have that, but I also didn't have what uh, this style shield is. So in the pictures, I, co I couldn't tell if it was the injection molded style or paint. And looking at this after I got it, it's definitely uh, like a like an enamel or something. It, it's weird because you can't really feel it, but I don't know, I, I mean, I guess I could be wrong. But if you look at it, it kind of looks like it's painted on. I guess, you know, you can feel something. There's definitely some kind of texture going on there. So I don't think that's the same as the, plus it's the same red. The red in the middle of that cross looks basically the same as the rest of the scale from what I can tell with my eyes. So I think this is the, the paint style versus my other Vanger has little metal, sort of like this buck. It's a little metal, like aluminum thing that's inset, that's red, red and white. The, what is it, my Evo 63 Vanger has what I believe is that injection molded one, which is cool because they say, you you know, it's it's like the two plastics have melted together almost. You can wear through that and it will still be the same all the way down until you like literally wore through the entire scale. Whereas this, if this is paint, will scratch off. Sort of like, you know, the Victorinox or the e Eco lines where they did like the silver hot stamp or whatever they called it. This is just like a paint. And then obviously, this one didn't come with the keychain like my Traveler did. So my Traveler, just like my other Swiss Buck, have the little keychain that actually has what looks more like the, if I can spin it around here, the Victor Knox, you know, like S style uh, split ring. Whereas this Vanger has, like some of the newer other Vangers I have, has the kind of cheaper let me show it the cheaper split ring where they don't curve in I don't know if you guys can see that I hope uh, it doesn't curve in like the other one it's like a more of like just like a spring that they just clipped on two spots so anyway you know I thought that was kind of interesting you know it's another very similar comparison this one's a little different though if you look not this is really relevant but if you look at the box size this has a skinnier box which is interesting because the knife, get down a little low. I mean, we're, we're talking like maybe this is a millimeter thicker, but they're basically the same thickness knife. And this has the skinnier, it's almost like this box. And the, I don't know, the seller wrote Globetrotter. That's definitely not factory there. Uh, I think the Swiss Buck box was probably used for both the two layer like this N3 layer, and that's why the other banger, the Traveler I have, has a th the same thickness box because it's a Traveler which has scissors, so it's a three layer. This must have been a box. It's made specifically for maybe two and one layer bangers. Just an observation. It's kind of interesting, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I haven't decided. It's a very sharp knife, so this Highlander. Even though, like I said, it, you know, it looks like there's been a little bit of wear. Not like tool wear, per se, but it's definitely been handled. But this, the, both the serrated and the, the tip, the non-serrated portion, 
they're very sharp. This one slices through paper like a fresh, you know, sharpened blade. So look at that. You can actually kind of see some. I wiped it down with a with a with a piece of tissue, but it's almost like water staining on it. So this, I don't know, this one's making, I'm not so sure about the blade because I like, I prefer the plain edge blades, but this might actually become uh, a user for me because it was so cheap, you know, uh, it was ship, shipped was like 20 bucks. It was for, I did a best offer of $14, guy accepted, and that seemed like a pretty fair deal for a theoretically new open box and, you know, somewhat aligns with that uh, knife. But I guess I need to figure out, is this uh, a serrated Highlander less common than a Traveler? Because I kind of think it is. If that's the case, maybe I stick to my original plan and uh, carry the, the Traveler. Because I know those are pretty common. And I do want to try out, maybe, I don't know, I might carry this one for a little bit, the Globetrotter. I do, once I get those pocket clips, I want to connect one to the keychain thing and see how that works it's sort of like a metal lanyard instead of you know paracord just to try something different and still make it you know not so it's not just floating around in my pocket but kind of stays off to the side it'd be kind of nice but uh this guy is definitely interesting that blade is very sharp because like i said you, you guys just witnessed it uh caught me and you know it was bleeding pretty decent so uh these are both uh you know, even if even though they don't look perfectly like they've never been handled, like these boxes are tat this box is very tattered. These knives are basically new, and they're both really sharp, so they would be uh, a decent knife to carry. And again, I don't think either one. You know, they're obviously Vangers becoming more hard to find, especially newer like this. But I mean, there's still tons and tons of them out there. So I'm sure if I watched, I would find another. But I definitely am happy with both. This this one I did kind of buy as maybe a carry because I love the the look of the buck nylon scales and the black and everything. And then this I kind of just bought on a whim because it had a blade I haven't seen. It had obviously my Phillips that I like, and it had uh, a scale with uh well two things this the shield of paint not the metal one like on my other fingers and then you know it's like what is the deal with the not having scale tools that uh that was kind of interesting anyway hopefully someone appreciated this these knife videos are not getting a lot of views but i don't really care i enjoy doing them they're fun cool thanks